a body have thou prepared for me Hebrews chapter 10 verse 5 therefore when he comes into the world he says sacrifices and offerings you desired not but a body have you prepared me it is argued that since the passage states that a body was prepared for the son when he came into the world this implies his existence prior to his incarnation when really this passage is teaching the eternal character of the sacrifice of Jesus which is contrasted with the temporary arrangement under the law of Moses take this chapter into its full context see verses 13 to 12 Trinitarians claim that by body is meant a flesh and bone tabernacle for God the Son in which case the sacrifice has no merit since God the Father prepared the body which housed God the Son on the basis of this reasoning God the Father did not provide his son for a sacrifice but provided merely a flesh and bone body God the Son continued to exist while the body remained in the tomb how then is this sacrifice any more effective than the shed blood of bulls and of goats under the law the Greek word translated prepared means to fit or adjust thoroughly Jesus willingly complied with the divine purpose see Matthew chapter 26 and verse 39 he emptied himself of all pride and became a servant to all he emptied himself alluding to the prophecy of his crucifixion in Isaiah chapter 53 and verse 12 he poured out his soul unto death he took upon himself the form of a slave and became obedient unto death even the death of the cross Philippians chapter 2 verses 7 and 8 in bringing about this great salvation the son learned obedience by the things which he suffered Hebrews chapter 5 and verse 8 rather than teaching the doctrine of the Trinity this passage is a declaration of the faithfulness of the son to his father like the slave to his master and hence the merit of his sacrifice once for all